Welcome back to Mini Wargamer's Corner. This is just a quick uh, update on uh, my uh, my set Explorer and what I've been doing with it. So let's just take a look here. So I worked on space. Added, if you can see that, for magnets and a pin, and this huge one. The idea that I wanted was so that it would open up. So, so far, this is how it's turning out. It's not too bad, but it's a little bit unstable with the big magnet. That's what I found. So what I plan on doing is probably building this section up here with a bit of uh, green stuff just so that when it goes on it doesn't tip because if you barely touch it, it falls over. Okay, I'm back again. I put green stuff over top of the magnets just to try and hide it a little bit there and there. Then what I did was put green stuff here and over this magnet so that it'll be a little bit more stable as it's um, put onto the base like that. Oops, let's put it right there. So there it sits pretty good like that and then the magnet and now it doesn't uh, tip over so much. Yeah, well, there you go. Not quite as stable as I expected. But may have to add a little bit more on the other side, so I'll be back with that. Okay, I'm back with the fix that I did. I did this. I added an extra magnet, built up this side, covered this one, and I'll just show you how it uh, fits. So it's pretty stable, a lot better than what it was, and uh, there you have it. So now what I'll do after this is uh, put texture on this, and actually I'll show you what I use. Be right back. Okay, so this is what I'm going to try on it. Uh, actually I have is the resin sand, and that, the uh, ceramic stucco and that's how I got um, the texture on this and then what I'll do is I'll uh, cover up the green stuff and then uh, give it a primer, black primer and uh, show you what it looks like okay we'll be back okay so here it is with the resin sand and the ceramic stucco the difference between the two, the resin sand has uh, bigger particles, whereas the stucco is finer. So that's the difference. So here we go. I have to leave it dry for quite a few hours, and then um, I'll do a primer on it and uh, show you what it looks like. Okay, I'm back. This is primed and ready to go. As you can see, I am going to try to match it to what my Tyranid Army looks like. So this was done a long time ago. So that's basically kind of the style I'm going to do. Maybe put a little bit more detail on it. We'll see how it turns out. All right, 